you, you have also advocated for providing counsel, in fact, taxpayer funded counsel, to every asylum seeker at our border. Do you know how many credibility and fear determinations the Customs and Immigration Service performed just in 2023 at the southern border? No, Senator, I am not aware of that. 146,000. 146,000 in 2023 alone. So you are in favor of taxpayer funding for attorneys for a, at least 146,000 illegals. Is that right? Senator, I was counsel on two matters that advocated for um, the right of counsel for a limited class of non-citizens. This, this, is, this is your organization that you're a member of the board of directors of. On May 27, 2022, your organization submitted this official comment to a DHS rule in which you specifically advocated for counsel to be provided at government expense to all asylum seekers. I mean, that's quite a position. So we're talking about hundreds of thousands of people are going to get government, illegal migrants are going to get government funded attorneys under your proposal. Is that right? Is that your position? Senator, any policy position that I have taken in my role as an advocate I understand that I would be taking an oath to put that aside and to dedicate myself instead to the fair and impartial application of the law, and that is what I commit to you I would do in every case. Do you still think that detaining people at the border is motivated by, I'm quoting now, motivated by financial incentives and political calculations rather than any legitimate or evidence-based purpose? Senator, I'm not familiar with that statement. Well, that's from an, another statement made by your organization in September 22nd. 2021.